Hey everyone, so today we are in my bedroom. So if you guys didn't already know, this is my bedroom. This is pretty much exactly what it looked like when I moved in, minus the furniture, obviously. And I have been itching to give it a makeover, but I've been really busy working on the studio. And I finally have found a little bit of time and I would love to tackle this room. I obviously spend a lot of time in here, so I wanna doll it up a little bit. Right now, I really don't think it looks too bad. I just want to incorporate a few colors and like textures that I personally like, because you guys might be able to tell the yellow walls are actually more of a textured design. They're like painted and then ragged over. It's something that was done in the 80s a lot, and it is in three out of the four walls. The other wall, which is behind the camera, is actually like a greeny, charcoal color, which you guys know I love green, but I don't want dark green weighting this wall. And then we have some Berber carpet, which I personally love carpet in bedrooms, and so does Chip. He comes in here to play all the time, so I'd love to keep it, but it's actually unraveling quite a bit under the bed and in a few other spots, so I think I'm gonna change this out as well. And then these curtains look fresh out of a hotel, and when I put my fan on at night, they tink together, like make a little like clicking noise, and at first I liked the clinking and now I don't. I'm over it. The curtain's gotta go. So today we're gonna paint. Ow! It's so heavy. I can't keep lifting this. Ugh. Oh look at my bed. My bed. My <laughs> My support! I'm off to get the paint. Oh my gosh. You guys, the garage. Everybody puts things too tall for me. Grab the poly filler. We're good. He really put that on there. They really said, we want this here for life. Okay, so I guess that this little piece of wood holding up the blinds was actually like jip rocked into the wall for some reason. So I have more filling than I had intended on doing. The first thing that I'm gonna paint is just the window casing because as you guys probably noticed, it's really dirty and it definitely needs some paint. The window casing needs help, badly. Maybe you should have wore a mask while I was standing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so bright. It's gonna uh, be a little bit darker on the wall. So I'm gonna cut in and my fiance is gonna roll. Not because I don't like rolling, I actually like rolling, but cutting in is harder and I don't currently trust him with that. So yeah. Ooh, out with the old green, in with the new green. Are you at all concerned that by the time of our wedding I'm not gonna like green anymore and I chose green for every single color basically? A little bit to be honest. That looks great! Green! Oh my gosh, the green looks great! Okay, the second coat is done. I think it'll be good. I don't think it'll need a third coat. So I'm gonna put on the air mover and we will let it dry. Ooh. I'll have to touch that up. Hey! <laughs> what are you doing? We are going to Home Depot and we're gonna get some flooring today. I'm looking for easy installation because a noob, oh my gosh, I haven't said the word noob in like five years. <laughs> a newbie is going to be putting in the flooring, which is me, so I need something that's good for beginners. You got this, girl. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna try and find today. With COVID, there's so many things sold out, so we'll just see what's available.
13, 14, it's good. Okay, you guys, so I literally just got done working. And what better thing to do after work than rip out some old carpet? I like makeshift put my room back together because I actually finished painting a week ago and I knew I wouldn't be getting to the flooring for a while. So I wanted to have my room looking in some sort of array. So I have to move all this out again and then rip out the carpet. I'll show you guys the flooring that I chose. Here it is. It's a little bit more gray than what I wanted, but if you guys have been doing renovations during like COVID times, there is like so little stock and it's really hard to find things that are available. So I was just happy to find this available and not have to wait like months to get it in. So yeah, I don't know how informative this part of the video will be because I'm very much just going to be winging it. But if this turns out good, you definitely can do it too. And I'm really excited to get rid of this Berber because I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to it. You're causing me post nasal drip. Bye. Bye flop. Oh no. Oh there. Okay. And then in like that. There are other tutorials on YouTube for this. If you're trying to learn, I suggest learning somewhere else. Now since this is like a floating floor, like it could pop up, I am going to put a little bit of wood glue in between like every third piece, just so that the flooring doesn't just like fly out. Once you've done the full line, this is where you can't, well you could, but it wouldn't look as good in my opinion. If you just put another full board like this, you're not gonna have that wood flooring look where it's like staggered. So you now need to start cutting boards, which is scary, I know. So I'm thinking that we could like cut this board in half and then start it with a half board and then that's gonna give you that like staggered look. Maybe give me like five minutes to test this out and then I'll come back hopefully more knowledgeable for you guys. One eternity later. <laughs> okay, I knew it was going too easily. So I just did a bunch of Googles about using carpet underlay for laminate. Turns out can harvest mold. So now we gotta get that out. Take out the nail boards as well, which is such a terrible job getting nails out of cement. And then tomorrow, gotta run to Home Depot and get the correct underlay. So <laughs> it was going a little too well, so this makes sense. The world is balanced. Home Depot and they got some underlay. It's moisture resistant and noise dampening. This should be good. I just gotta lay this down and then for real, we'll lay the flooring. <laughs> Two seconds later. Okay guys, it's been a hot minute. But I think I've got the hang of this now. I will say to put this flooring in, it helps if you have a buddy. Let me give you a quick rundown. Okay, so we have chosen to do, at the beginning it was kind of a brick, but then now we're doing random. So I wanna start with a little piece. So I'm just gonna measure it out where it locks. This is for anyone at home actually giving this a try. This is a great tool for this. So just like that. And then we're gonna go very short, which normally I would say don't start with a short one, but our pattern is showing that we should. So then we take this out, you're gonna cut this. If you have a circle saw, that would be good because it would cut it in a straight line, or you could put it into like a little saw thing. I'll put a picture on the screen, but I will use the circle saw because my dad set it up for me. Okay, so now the first piece is really easy. You just put it in at like a 45, 
and then you scooch it over to where you want it. And then the locking system locks when you hit it down. And then if you have a mallet, you can really make sure it's in there. And then it's good, like it won't move on you. But the full piece where you have to connect it here and here is where I think the buddy system is good. Let me grab my buddy. So goes up on the side and then you kind of hold and then you lift a lift it a little. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then while your buddy holds it, you got And then the locking system. And then you just keep doing that. Okay, <laughs> it's night again. Almost so close to being done. And honestly, I would be down to finish it tonight, but Stuart has his Christmas party for his work, so we have to get ready. So I guess we'll finish this tomorrow. All right, today I am finishing this flooring. Today may be the hardest day because we have to do all the cuts of the closet, but I am dedicated and ready. Ah! I've been doing this for three days. Are you cutting your bottom boards? Yeah, the one in the closet. So then I would stick this on here. Yeah, put it all back on. I think I got it. Ah! Okay. Yeah, plus it'll give you a nice hand massage. All right. <laughs> Well, I'll just put the baseboard back on after I put this on. Well, that did not go as I have planned. <laughs> okay, we have hit the dreaded last board and it's actually only gonna be two inches. So if we would have planned, I would have had the two inches at the other side, but I wanted to start there. So you know what, whatever. Honestly, at this point it looks great and I'm not gonna let a two inch board bother me. No, I won't let it bother me. Oh, I'm a little bit out of breath because I just carried all the garbage onto the trailer. But now I'm gonna take these three quarter inch rounds just to finish off all of the edges. And I have to cut these at a 45 so the corners butt up well. And then I'm just gonna nail them on. At this point, this should have just been a flooring video. Like this is taking so long. The flooring is on, and the baseboards, and it looks great, and I'm exhausted. I'm gonna put this up. It's gonna hold a plant next to the mirror. It's really cool though. I got it on Etsy. Okay, the sun is going down, but now I'm gonna try to attempt to hang up the curtain. I got these uh, poles on Etsy. Okay, so I got this dowel at Home Depot. I just cut it to size in the garage in the most insane way ever. I'm so happy I didn't film it because it was definitely super dangerous. And I don't want anybody to ever know how I cut this because it was not a good idea at all, and I'm lucky to have my fingers. Okay, but I'm hoping it's the right size. Fingers crossed, everyone. Two seconds later. Let's try that again. Oh, oh, there's too much happening. Okay, let's try that again, is what I was gonna say. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it just fits. 
Oh my gosh. Ignore the hole I just had to fill, but oh my goodness, it just fits you guys. Okay, and then I have these linen curtains to put up, and then that's all I'm doing today. All right, my dad's gonna help me put up this light. I got this on Wayfair and it was open box, so it was a really good deal. And I was a little nervous because that was the first time I bought an open box item from Wayfair. But it looks great, like no complaints here. I'm just fixing all the fringe because it's kind of all thrown around. The light fixture right now is not like centered over the bed, so I might just try and like put a little hook to hang it. I feel like that would look better. I'm not really sure to be honest. It's so cute. This is the light we will be changing. Ooh, fun. Here it is off and there it is on. But now this bedding will not do. Okay, so I actually bought this bedding before I bought anything else for this room. Here is the pattern I chose. I think it's gonna really liven up the room. There are these beautiful flowers. I love the colors. It's so pretty. Right now I actually have winter sheets on. They've got like little trees. But when I take those off, I have these waffle print pillows. They're like a really, really pastel blush. Wait, no, this isn't pastel. It's like a muted blush. And then I got this fun pillow. And this, I am so excited about this pillow. I got this off Etsy. It's handmade. Are you kidding me? It's gonna look so cute. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Anyways, let's make the bed. The comforter is green. I'm already sweating. Oh my gosh, it's looking so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, I definitely have a headache right now from this. That was a bit of a workout, but oh my goodness, I am obsessed with this. This print. Whoa, the light like perfectly is shining on my face right now. Is this print not everything? Is this lemon not everything? Ah, I love it. Okay guys, I actually wasn't planning on doing anything in the room today, but the blinds just got delivered literally like five minutes ago and I really wanna put them up. I love bamboo blinds and this, I actually got these ones from a different place than I normally do and I love them. They're so well made. There's no gaps or anything. So I'm gonna put these up. I got two rows. Okay, they're gonna be like this on the window. Now, hopefully my measurements are correct. So that way I'll be able to like Open one side, keep the other side closed. So we'll see how this goes. Chick, what are you staring at? Okay guys, today we are going to be making the headboard. I officially have all the materials. So I have Stuart here today to help me because I don't want to use the table saw alone because it is dangerous and I'm hoping it turns out good. I have been unable to find this headboard to purchase. So I thought, you know what? Let's make it. Okay, so we did a few measurements and we're thinking maybe 50 inches. So 50 inches takes us here. And then the picture, which by the way, we have three pictures, which we already put in frames. Baby, come on, my Yeah, that's way too high, Stuart. That's too high. By the way, if anyone's wondering why I'm being mean, it's because my period is right now. <laughs> and I'm allowed, so. I'd say move it down like four inches, so 45? 46. 46. 46 is our number. Now we have to make sure we have the right wood size. We're going now. The dark hallway. That's the beautiful thing of a winter in Canada. It gets dark at like 3.30. So in here, we have the rat. And now when you're working with rat, I've worked with it once before, you have to wet it so that then when you staple it on and it dries, it gets like really tight. Into the bathtub we go. I'm going to... <laughs> and we're just gonna leave that in there for however long it takes us to make the headboard. Probably like an hour. It smells like hay. Now that the rattan is soaking, I will show you the wood. This is beautiful wood. It's like oak, it's very strong. If you've worked with wood before, you know oak is like a very strong wood. 48. <gasps> Ooh, wee All right, let's do it. Okay, we gotta set the table saw up. Two idiots using a table saw. Yeah, I know you don't wanna be like this, but it does get back in my <laughs> We watched a video on kickback and now we have like this new 
newfound fear of like these kicking back. So we're trying to be very careful. Definitely not up to any sort of code here. Don't try this at home. Like take your woodworking advice from someone else. You know what? I don't even feel comfortable showing this online. So I'm just gonna, just we're cutting the wood. You don't need to know how. Okay, well, the headboard dries a little bit. I am going to hang the pictures because, because I have to. Okay, that took longer than it should have, but they are up. And I think they look pretty even. We did that. Yes, we did. It's very late and we're giving the bed frame a haircut. Okay, so today we are tackling a job that honestly, I've kind of been dreading. I really don't know how this is gonna go and it could quite possibly ruin the closet doors in all entirety. <laughs> I saw it on Pinterest. But basically, cut these rectangles out, pop them out, staple rattan on the inside, let the rattan dry, it tightens up, and then change the handle to something luxurious. You take like a builder grade closet door and make it look custom and like a statement piece. The thing with closet doors is they're usually like hollow, but I have this theory that where this indents won't be hollow. And I mean like worst case scenario, if it is hollow and you can see a gap, we'll just run to Home Depot and get a little trim piece from the inside. But I just hope we can get a straight line, like a perfect rectangle. Cause if there's like a notch out, it's gonna look really bad. And I'm gonna wish we just left it. So here are what the closet doors look like right now. Say bye to the closet doors and say a little prayer for us. All right, you guys, the closet doors are on. They look a little rough right now. There's a little bit of finishing work we need to do. This piece, this piece. Ooh, that's a little short. Oh well. Okay, they're not perfect. We're just gonna have to silicone like we mean it. I'm gonna be using this Gorilla wood glue. Again, I've never done this before, so <laughs> this isn't really a tutorial. This is more just me trying to figure out how to do this. Okay, now that that's dried, I'm just gonna go through and do some silicone. I'll have to put lots of silicone in the corners, but I'm gonna wait till the end for that because I don't know how much I have of silicone. I might need to run out and grab some more. Okay, the silicone is done. Now, I was looking for the trim paint, like the white door paint, and this is all I have left. So hopefully I can finish this up with this little bit of paint. <laughs> Otherwise I have to run out. We'll see. Okay, the doors are all dried. Now I just cut the holes for the new handles. These are the handles that I chose. Oh my gosh, I love them. They're from Etsy. This one actually broke, but I super glued it back together. So hopefully it stays together. But this really completed the doors. Look how good the door looks with the handle. Oh my gosh, 
it only took all day, but it's beautiful. That was probably the most DIYs I've done for one room, maybe. There might be more for other, but it feels like a lot. This has been like seven months. Let's go to the final reveal. Right now. Okay, you guys, I am loving the way this room turned out. I can hardly remember what it looked like. It's been seven months of working on this. So let's look at what it was before and what we turned it into. bringing in the closet doors so that you can see them because those closet doors were a lot of work. And this plant, this is a perfect example of if it's sunny in this room, you know, because the sun will hit the disco ball and make all these really fun circles flying all over the room. And it's just a really fun experience. So that definitely makes my day better when I wake up and this is being like, illuminated across the room. He's low maintenance, he's cute enough. We have a good relationship. We haven't even discussed the flooring. I remember the Berber carpet. I remember how it made me sneeze. And this is so much nicer. I can't even believe we did this. This is a message to all of you. If you wanna change your flooring, I believe in you. Because if I did it, you definitely can. Yes, is it time consuming? Yes, does it hurt your back? All of those yes. I can't believe this room is done. I swear this has been in the back of my mind for the last seven months, just being like, okay, we gotta do this, we gotta do that, we gotta finish this, blah, 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 blah. And to have it completely done, and I love the way it looks. This is such a comfortable and cozy room. And I feel like it is a little bit different than what we've been doing upstairs with the pastel look. I feel like it does have a little bit of a different vibe though. There's not a lot of pink in here. I'm interested to hear what you guys think of this room. If there's anything that you would like me to change or you think would look good make sure to let me know down below or if there's anything you like that inspired you let me know down below flatter me a little come on flatter me I worked hard anyways as always I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure if you haven't already to click the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>